Another year, another WWE game releases, and last year's 2K23 was one of the best wrestling games we've ever got, and now the question is, can this year's 2K24 iterate enough on last year's game to give us the best wrestling game of all time, or is the one-year turnaround not enough time for them to improve the game to give us what we deserve? Or, another question to ask, did they completely break the game like they did with WWE 2K20 or some of the older ones where the one-year time just messed up everything and we got a terrible game? Let's talk about it in my review today. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Eddie. I'm going to give you guys my WWE 2K24 review. If you guys like game reviews, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to do reviews and impressions of a bunch of games, talk about all the news that are coming up. If you're a wrestling fan, make sure to go over to Twitch because every Wednesday we do Wrestling Wednesday and we're going to be playing every single week our universe mode in WWE 2K24 while also talking about everything that's happening in the pro wrestling world. So make sure to join us over there. Now, let's go into our review of WWE 2K24. For those of you guys who don't know, WWE 2K24 is the newest game in the Pro Wrestling Simulation series. Obviously, the whole point of these games is to simulate pro wrestling the same way that the NHL, NBA, and the football games are all trying to simulate what's happening. So it doesn't feel like an arcadey game. It is much more, if you want to call it, real in that simulation style. The game has over 200 wrestlers this year, and there's a massive amount of options for the men and women and legends all across the board. Newer superstars, older superstars, everything is there for this year's game and it is awesome for that roster. The models this year look fantastic outside of a couple uh, bad ones, but overall the models of all the wrestlers just look fantastic. The presentation of it all, the entrances, the arena, the rings and all of it looks fantastic. This year, like last year, has a bunch of different modes that you can play as well. You can obviously just do the play mode, which is just pick a wrestler, pick a match type that you want, and just go in there and have some fun. And there's uh, three new match types this year, three main new ones. We've got the ambulance match, the casket match, and the special guest referee, which are all pretty fun. I like them so far, uh, but they are a little limited in the sense that they're all just 1v1s, so you can't do anything special. I was really hoping the special guest referee, you could do like fatal four-way matches with a special guest referee, but that's not the case. It is just for the 1v1. Same with the ambulance and casket matches. But one of the other cool things that I wasn't aware ahead of time that they did add is a straight up full gauntlet mode and now the gauntlet there are three different types in here i'm gonna go wrestling knowledge here so if you don't know much wrestling i don't know why you're watching this if you don't know much about wrestling but if you were curious the gauntlet mode there are three different ones that you normally could do but they had to like go through these weird settings to get it in the old games now they added them directly in this one the first one is what i'd call like the classic style which is two people start in the ring when one person gets pinned and eliminated another person enters so the guy who's already in is still hurt and just has to continue the battle. The cool thing is that you could do 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 20, or 30 people gauntlet. Insane. I love it. It's one of my favorite things to watch. WWE lately have been doing an amazing job with gauntlet matches in, in real life, and I've been always excited to do that in the game, so I'm really excited for it. Another one they have is an Eliminator, which that one sounds insane. I don't think I've ever seen this in a, in a pro wrestling like show, but it's a gauntlet in a Royal Rumble style. So that means that you have two people start and every couple minutes, someone else enters same way as a Royal Rumble, but people have to be pinned to be eliminated instead of being thrown over the top rope. Same thing, you can go all the way up to 30 people in that too. That is crazy to think that you could do a 30-man rumble but pinfall instead of over the top rope. That's going to be its own, like, its own like event. I could do that for hours just playing that mode. And the last one is a turmoil. So this one is that you pick one wrestler and that one person has to try and survive a bunch of wrestlers that are coming out and trying to feed him. Same thing all the way up to 30. Love this new feature of the gauntlet mode. Outside of the regular play and match types and all that, they have all the returning features like My Faction, which is the card play, uh, card mechanic. So you will get cards of wrestlers and then you're going to go and do battles. They have weekly challenges, daily login, daily challenges, lifetime stuff. Uh, you can buy packs of card with in-game currency or real cash. So that's where they're going to really try and get a lot of money out of you guys. But you don't have to. I looked at it and there's a lot of ways to earn in-game currency. So you don't have to spend money, but it is there for those of you guys who want to get packs of cards cards faster. Um, you're going to play this mode. It feels almost exactly the same as last year, but it is a bunch of content that's going to keep you busy for a long time. Outside of that, my GM mode return, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I never played the my GM mode in 2K23, so this year's, it looks really good, and everything I've seen from it looks fantastic, but I personally don't have enough to say to compare it from last year's mode. 
all I've seen is that it is a improvement and there are a lot of changes and obviously new GMs and you can create your own GM and they've added a lot of new features to it, but I can't speak about it directly because I haven't played the mode myself yet. Then we've got the return of the universe mode, which is my personal favorite way to play the WWE 2K games. And this year is almost the same as last year. They said they've added a couple changes, but I haven't noticed any changes yet from what I've played. But again, it's such small things that you're just going to see over time with like the rivalries and all that. But it's basically the same as last year's game. Next up this year, we got the My Rise, which is where you get to create a character or download a created character and go on two different adventures uh, with multiple paths. So you can play these adventures more than once. One of them is called Undisputed. The other one's called Unleashed. One of them, you're going to play as a male wrestler and the other one as a female wrestler. And they have their own story modes. One of them is focused on this whole Roman Reigns thing. And it's pretty entertaining where Roman Reigns left to go to Hollywood and he gave up his title. Now he's coming back to get it now that he's back from Hollywood. Pretty cool stuff. I really enjoying that one as well. And then this year we got the showcase of WrestleMania. So we have 20 matches. This is like the adventure mode or single player mode where you're going to be uh, recreating matches from real life in the game. Last year was focused on John Cena. The year before that on Rey Mysterio. This year is focused on WrestleMania. And I'm personally, I can tell you guys, I really like this one, uh, this mode way more because there's a lot more variety on who you get to play as and who you get to play against. Previous years, like the Rey Mysterio one, you played as basically Rey the whole way through just against different opponents. And then with last year's John Cena's one, there were some matches you did get to play as John Cena, but most of the time you were playing as someone against John Cena. So it is a little bit more repetitive on this end. This year, because it's a WrestleMania focused one, they did uh, curate it where you have a lot of different wrestlers that you get to use and play against throughout because they're talking about it. They also have their usual thing where if you complete a certain objective in the match, it's going to transition from gameplay to cutscene back to gameplay. My slight little comment on it is that I was quite shocked as to some of the matches that were there and some of the matches that were not playable uh, as I was going through. There's only 21 matches out of 40 years. This is definitely one of the ones where I feel like if they have more than a year we've gotten more content out of it but it is still a pretty good result that we got and as always the WWE games have the best creation tools out there you can create your wrestlers your arenas your belts everything like that but I haven't noticed any differences whatsoever from last year. It seems like all the creations are almost the exact same, but they still have the creations online as well, which means you can go online and download what other people created. So I cannot wait to grow my roster, to change my universe, to do all that stuff. But I'm not good at creating wrestlers, so I can't wait for everyone else to create them, and I can go get them. This game really gives you the opportunity and so much freedom. You can go download AEW superstars, New Japan pro wrestling superstars, wrestlers from across the world, across the generation. Anyone that's not in this game, someone will create them, and it will look almost like as if they were in the game and created by the developers. You can just go ahead and download them and add them to your game. Best creation suites and best community creations as well. It's 10 out of 10. I know it's the exact same as last year, but I think that you can't improve it. It's just perfection on the amount of options they give you there. So the last thing you guys might be wondering is, should you buy this game? And I'm going to divide this review, the end of this review, into three categories. And you guys can decide which category you fall under and make that decision for yourself. The first one is, you are brand new to wrestling games. You've never played any wrestling games before, and you're wondering, is this the one that you should jump into? And the answer is, absolutely this is the one you need to buy whether you're even if you're not a wwe fan and you're an all elite fan or a new japan fan still buy this game download all the AEW and new japan or any of the tna whatever you guys like download them and just play them because this gameplay is just the best when it comes to wrestling games so you cannot go wrong if you're a new fan the second category that you might fall under is someone who has played the pro wrestling games before like 2k 12, 2K13, or SmackDown versus Raw, or Here Comes the Pain, or Shut Your Mouth, or any of the old ones. I think that if you're looking to jump back into it and you haven't played in a long time, this is absolutely a good time to jump in because it can't get any better than this. Like I said, with everything else, even with the slight flaws, it is still a stellar game. And then the last category that you might fall under is someone who has bought every single WWE game every single year, like 2K22, and you already have 2K23, and you're wondering, do I make the jump? Well, first off, I'm going to be honest and say you probably already bought 2K24. But if you didn't, I will say I do think the jump is big enough. There is enough things that are iterated on. Like I didn't even talk about like the actual in-game stuff, like the matches. They've improved a lot of the things to make this game even better. But if you're looking at it on the content side, 
it is pretty much the same when you lock at universe mode, my faction. So my question to you is more, what modes do you play? If you like the My Rise, well, I mean, you got two brand new com campaigns to do this year. The universe is the exact same. So if that's all you do, you could probably skip this year and keep 2K23. Obviously, there's the roster, though. So if you want the new roster. Um, so I would say it's not a must buy, but I still think it is worth it if you have every if you've been playing every single year. But for everyone else, absolutely, you must buy this game. And that is my review of WWE 2K24. It comes out this week. Are you planning on buying it? Did you already buy it? Are you liking it? What are you enjoying with pro wrestling? Tell me everything in the comments. Subscribe to the video. Give this video a thumbs up. Come on over to Twitch for Wrestling Wednesdays every single week where we play and talk wrestling every week. Thank you guys so much. Have a good rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.